Hello, lovely people. Welcome to the Geek Cupboard. I am Penj, and welcome back to the Universum. Hooray, it's come back. We played this a little while ago now. Oh, look how gorgeous it is as the sun comes up over the planet. So, yeah, we played this while back in March, April time, I think, and we had a lot of fun with it. And then we kind of left it because we had a little bit of a save game issue going on. But we are now revisiting the Universum because it has gone onto Steam into early access, which is jolly exciting indeed. So there's a whole load of new shiny features and new things that we've got to play with because it's gone through a few versions since we last saw it. I think maybe three different versions. So there's so many new things, so many exciting new things. If you don't know what the Universum is, essentially it's a god simulator. This is the planet. There will be people on the planet, little kind of characters called Nuggets. We will look after them. We've got god powers. We sort of accrue kind of points to spend on god powers to help them out. But yeah, they kind of look after themselves. They go and get water and they eat and they hunt and all that kind of stuff. And we have to make sure that they can survive and build a thriving society. And it's jolly exciting. Oh, it's so good to see it back. So in early access, which is what we are in now, there are only going to be two eras. There's going to be the sort of Stone Age and the Medieval Age. Future ages planned are the Industrial Age and the Space Age, which is what I assume all this stuff is here because there's spaceships and big tall buildings. So this is just teasing us. This is teasing us with what we can't have. But you know what? I mean, look, the satellites. We can't have that in the Stone Age. But don't you know what? That's fine. At least it gives us a little sort of uh, little look at what to expect as the game develops. So I think let's just get on with it. Let's just start a new life and get on with the universe in. Oh, there is a really beautiful, lovely kind of intro sequence, like a narrated intro sequence where you create the universe. You tap the screen and the whole universe springs into life in front of you. That was tremendous. And here we go. So this is Mother Planet. I don't think it had a name before. I think it was just the planet you started on. But yeah, this is Mother Planet. And we have got to look after the nuggets. Our purpose is to look after the nuggets that are relying on us. So we've got to find them a good place to start. So where's a good place to start? I mean, this area here looks pretty ideal. The only thing is, quite a lot of rocks over there. So we're going to get hemmed in on that side with where we can actually develop. Is there anywhere else that looks nice? Oh, over here looks a little bit more... Uh, there's not many trees over that side, though. We need a place with kind of a bit more wood, I would say. Some more trees and some more open space and some easy access to water. How about over here? This looks good. Just here, look. Here is fine. We've got a nice space here. We've got water there and water there with, I assume those reflections are fish. Bit of water, huge, huge water over there. That's got to be an ocean of some sort. Plenty of trees around the edge. You've got stone over there if we need to go stone mining. And loads of room over here to spread into. So yeah, why don't we put it in this nice little clearing just here. Oh, and there's animals to hunt as well. There are animals to go a hunting. So okay, so we need to put down our epicenter. This is going to be where the whole civilization kind of rests around. Oh, this is very exciting. Yes, here we go then. Let's begin the universe in journey. Let's put that down. Yes, I will gladly put the tower down. And there they are. There are the little nuggets. Oh, look at them. So we've got Ilu, Elu, and Adahi. Oh, that's very good. So there they are. We've got two of them. Two, and that is it. And we've got nothing else. We've got no other resources, look. There's no other resources. We've got no wood. There's there's no stone. There's definitely no refined wood or refined stone. None of that. Bit of food, and that is it. But we do have some primitive tool research. That looks lovely. The little thing that pops up looks very cool indeed. Okay, so we need to click down here, I believe, to pick our next lot of research. Oh, and this has changed a great deal since I last saw this. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness me. There's loads. Oh, there's so much stuff. Oh, there's so many nice things. Hang on. How far right can we go? Oh, look at this. Ecology. Architecture. We can't get all this. Machine. A plastic factory. No. No. Okay. Yes, we can't get all these things yet, I don't think. Can we get hydrology? <gasps> this is very exciting. Oh, the tech tree is a thing of wonder. Okay. Let's go through and pick our first thing. So, we can either have fire. Oh, we're having fire. <laughs> because I've just clicked it and it's put a one next to it. Oh, there's a queue. <gasps> we can queue things up. Well, a fire would be sensible because unlocks light in the buildings. And there we go. So, we can have things lit up. It takes 45 seconds. That's fine. Then, probably a water wheel is a, is a sensible idea. So, we can actually have a drink. And then, I would say, 
a well. Oh, a water pit. So it's not quite a well. It's not a proper well. It is a water pit. So let's have that then. And then let's get those three research things done. Well, do we want to queue up any more? Primitive cooking might make sense. So we can have an eatery. Nugget hunger reduced by 5%. Okay. That would make sense. That takes four minutes. But that's fine, because by that point, we'll have other things to build. And then what's this down here? Oh, look at this. This is like proper big, proper exciting things. Yes, they've um, overhauled the uh, the way this works hugely. That's, that's changed a great deal. Uh, okay, let's get fishing. Fishing is good. If we've got ourselves fire, then we can have fishing because we can cook the fish. So there's our five research things. Fire, water wheels, the ability to dig a very basic well... Some primitive cooking, so we can get an eatery, and fishing, so we can get a fishing hut. Okay, that's very cool. Oh, I like that. I like that. That's good. Let's close that. I'm fine with the game speed. It's fine. We can use that thing up there. And let's have a look around our world. Let's have a little look around. Oh, they're already starting to uh, already starting to build themselves a house, so that's good. So this is going to be a stone hut. So yeah, stone hut. They're getting some resources. They're getting them themselves. This is very cool. What's this? Some sort of bush. Healthy Molina. Okay. And there's some wildlife as well. I noticed one of the kind of crazy weird deer stag. Multicolored deer stag creature monster things. That's fine. Some red stuff here. What's that? Juicy acorns. Oh, it sounds lovely. And indeed some water just there. Okay. So they're researching fire. I mean, I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know how they're doing the researching fire and building a house at the same time. I don't know. They're very resourceful of the nuggets. They're very, very resourceful. But there we go. We've got fire. The lovely little thing pops up and goes, but i have got fire. So let's move time on. Let's get all this stuff done quick because we need a water wheel, really. That we need we need water. They've got plenty of food. We've got food, 20 food in reserve. I assume that means 20 food in reserve. So we need to get ourselves some water because without that, this is going to be a very quick game. Because they're just going to die of thirst. <laughs> I'd rather that didn't happen quite so early on. So yeah, so the water wheel is going to take 40... Well, because I'm speeding time on, it's not quite representative. But it's going to take us maybe another 20 seconds. So these guys are chopping stuff down. And yeah, look, we, need a, we do need a storage area at some point where we can put things. We do need a storage area. It looks very black over there. Look at that. Nighttime is coming. That looks great. Thanks to a talkative snail, Elu discovered basic axles which should prove useful for their water wheel research. Okay. A, a, a talkative snail, you say? A to can, can you show me the talkative snail? I would love to go and have a chat with the talkative snail. Oh, look, and there's their little stone hut. It's finished. <laughs> Hooray. And there we go. So Ada Adahi and Elu can go and live in there. And that's just lovely. There we go. Look. And, oh, and a well as well. A well as well is complete. Oh, my goodness. Right, okay. Build menu. Is this more or less the same? Yes, it is. It's more or less the same. There's some cosmetic stuff out, which doesn't load. So that's not part of it yet. Okay, a water pit. Let's get this in first. Just put this kind of in the middle, because we could do with them having water. Now, as far as I remember, the closer you put it to the water, it's going to refill quicker. But... I think 15 looks pretty average in terms of uh, refill rate. That number, I think, is how quickly it refills, I suspect. So let's put that near to their house. Because this is going to be a kind of middle. So let's put that there. They can go and build a well. That's lovely. And then let's go here and... All right, resources. Does water count as a resource? Yeah, water pumps. So we need a water pump as well. So here we go. Let's drop one of these in over here. Might as well just put it... Uh, I don't know. Wherever. There. That'll do. Bit of a gap. Plonk it in there. You'll have to cut a tree down, but I think you'll cope. It's a little day-night cycle thing. It's so lovely. <laughs> I like the universe, Sim. Um, what else is there to do, then? We could pick some more research while we're here. We've got space for three now. So we're doing primitive cooking and fishing. What is the older one toolkit? What is that? Older one. <laughs> okay. So might increase plus one. So they have a might. So they've got a strength. So I guess if they've got more might, they're probably chopping down trees and knocking down rocks quicker because they're a bit stronger. Um, nugget accessories. Ah, and an engineer's hut. That could be very useful indeed. But then it does say we need water storage. We need water storage to do that. So we can't do that one. Yeah, because look, it's not, it's not letting me sort of go over it. So let's get ourselves water storage. Get ourselves a reservoir because that's no bad thing. 
Then we'll get that toolkit, because an engineer is good, because otherwise all the buildings fall down. And then, what's that? Caissoning. <laughs> well, the name reads as though it was uttered by a nugget having a seizure. Yeah, because I've never seen that word before either. Um, essentially, is that to stop a well caving in? Is that what it is? And it allows you to have a proper well. Now, that's going to be intriguing. Do they upgrade the existing water pit to a well, or do I have to knock it down and build a new thing? I don't know. I do not know. But let's not have that. So what does cooking oils do? That's quite a long time. Nugget hunger needs reduced by 10%. That has got to be a good thing. That's got to be a good thing. So yeah, can we have that as well in the queue? Splendid. Yeah, so the uh, previous version that I played had different... You could research one basic kind of tech and then you could research one more advanced tech as uh, time went on. So the basic techs were the, you know, like this stuff, like the cooking and fire and clothing and that kind of stuff, and shoes. Whereas the more advanced things actually changed the way the nuggets were it changed their sort of uh, sort of uh, makeup almost. So, you know, it gave them like hardier stomachs and all that kind of stuff. That seems to have gone unless I have entirely, entirely missed something really obvious. Um, the Book of Love. Adahi and Elu need help with a delicate matter. Okay. Dear Creator, we don't mean to sound like we're complaining, but we're having a tough time doing all the work with just the two of us. Is there any way we can expand our civilization? I can think of a, f a few ways... Maybe just one. Maybe bring in a few extra helping hands. I sincerely hope there is an easy way of going about this. One that does not involve months of discomfort and weird cravings followed by hours of excruciating pain. <laughs> ah. Well, now about that. Uh, okay, fine. Um, kind regards, Elu. Help Adahi and Elu increase the population. Connect them with the Lecupidon creator power. Okay. I am on it. So... Uh, I can make two nuggets fall in love by connecting them with my Lecupidon power. So I have got... Five minutes. Right, let's put time as normal speed. Five minutes to do this. So, we need to go and pick our power. Okay, that one, please. And then, what do I do? Tap you and you and connect you. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, there's like a lovely little rainbow thing. There's like a lovely rainbow thing between them. Oh, that's just tremendous. There we go. So now those two are in love, which means at some point, at some point... They will start uh, getting around to uh, making more nuggets. I mean, how that happens, I've no idea. They order them from a stork or something. I don't know. A stork flies in and brings them, uh, bring, brings baby nuggets in. But um, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Now, I don't know. But they appear to have gone in there. Okay, look away, kids. I'll, I'll look away. Come on. But let's go over here. Let's lead them to it. Let's go and look at some lovely flowers <laughs> while they get on with that. Uh, a deadly seed. <laughs> let's not go and look at some lovely flowers. Let's look at that. There you go. Panda brain plum. Mmm, delicious, lovely brains. Nice big lake. Are they finished yet? Are you done? No, you're still still, still going strong. Right, well done. Primitive cooking research is complete. I, mean, I don't know how they researched the primitive cooking whilst they were doing what they were doing, but well done. Very resourceful, very resourceful. Right, have you finished? Oh my goodness. There are two children all of a sudden. Wowie. Don't forget to build a reservoir before winter comes. Yes. Okay. So a reservoir is going to be pretty, pretty important, I would say. So uh, where is it? That's a water pump. Uh, that's an archive. We need one of those to save the game. Where's the reservoir? That's an eatery. We're going to need that at some point, but maybe not right now. Have we actually unlocked the reservoir? Where is that? Water storage. Okay. Yeah. It's not on the way yet. It's not, it's not done yet, but it's fine. Right. Shifty time on a little bit. Let's get things going a bit quicker. So we've got the well. It's not much of a well. Not really much of a well. Ah, right. That looks like an upgrade button to me. That looks like an upgrade button. That is that is just a pit. <laughs> that is just a puddle. That is a puddle with some rocks around the edge. But okay, puddle with rocks is fine. How are they doing on this thing? How are they doing? Oh, it just looks beautiful. What a lovely game. Oh, they're jellyfish in there. That is, oh, that's really nice. <laughs> look at the lovely jellyfish. They look so lovely, all lit up down there. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, hello. Uh, okay. Oh, right. Hang on. Dear creator, we're struggling to agree on names for our little ones. Adahi keeps wanting to call them something trivial like stick and stone. And I'm about ready to break his bones. I suggested some more appropriate names. But he believes I'm trying too hard. Can you please help us settle this argument? Love, Elu. Right, baptise with proper names, the little brats. 
Okay. Oh, these are rewards, are they, that we would get if we were to complete these by doing our god powers. Okay. So we have to rename them, do we? Let's put time as normal again. Right, you. Hello. So I can just click here and call them whatever I like. So Shanazu is is a, a girl one. I assume, is that a girl or a boy? What's this, what's this symbol mean? Is that a girl one or a boy one? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, no, you're a boy one. You're a boy one because you don't have two uh, two leaves up on your up on your chest there. So let's call you uh, Brian. You can be Brian. There we go. So that's nice. And uh, you. Oh no, you're still Brian. Uh, you there, Hilaval. You're a girl. Let's call you uh, Margaret. <laughs> Brian and Margaret have entered the world. Jolly exciting. Ellie really appreciates you with the names. She left you a message. Ah. Uh, thank you. You are truly an inspiration. Well, thank you very much. We could never have conceived such amazing names on our own. Hashtag nugget name one and hashtag nugget name two. I didn't call them that. Maybe they need to look at that. Fit them perfectly. These will They will carry these names for as long as they live. And nuggets will use them as a benchmark for generations to come. Oh, what have I done? A generation of Brian's and Margaret's will be all over the planet. Okay, done. Yay, I've helped the nuggets do some nice things. Oh, this is tremendous. This is very good already. And we've not even done the main stuff yet. We've got like hunters, huts and all sorts. Oh, that is a beautiful effect there. The little popping up thing. That's very good. Um, okay. Now, I didn't read about the speed controls. Can you do it with plus? No. Okay. I'll just press the buttons. It's absolutely fine. Okay. So there. Are they going? Are you going in there to, to do? To, to, oh my goodness me. Right. Wowie. There, there's, there's no stopping you guys, is there? There's absolutely no stopping you guys. Good grief. What do they put in the water around here? <laughs> wow. I mean, the children are outside. Someone should be looking after them. It's fine. Okay. Look, there's a gigantic big kind of mammoth thing coming around the corner. You don't want that to start stomping on the children while you're having adult hugs. Right, okay. We've got some more kids being born. We've got Koha. Is that you? Is that you? Koha. So we can just rename anyone. We can rename anybody. Okay. Uh, let's call... I'm not going to rename them all. I'm not going to rename them all. We're going to... Uh, let's rename you, uh, Betty. Let's have Betty. In honour of Betty Boom from the, uh, Fallout 4 Explosives Only Run. Let's have Betty. There we go. This is very cool. I'm oh, good. You're getting a drink from the slightly miserable looking pit of water. Right, it's now ran out. It's ran out of water, so we do need to sort that out. We need to get that filling up a little bit quicker. Also, we could do with somebody getting on with this would be nice. Ah, right. There we go. They've put all of the different things in. They've put all of the different resources in. They now need to just get on with building. Okay, lovely. That's very good. And then also, we're going to want to get ourselves at some point. We're going to get that reservoir in. Because otherwise, it's going to get to winter and it's going to be bad. Because everything will freeze and we'll just die. Betty discovered gutting while climbing a mammoth. Gutting? Wasn't that... Wasn't that something? Wasn't that one of the sciences? Wasn't that one of the things? Gutting, or is that just a a special thing? What's that? What 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 do I do with gutting? It sounds cool. It sounds good. I thought it. Or was it just a thing that helped with fishing? I don't know. I don't entirely know. We could do with storage areas though. That'd be really useful if we could get storage areas for a warehouse. That would be excellent because that's going to help us an awful lot. That's good. Okay. So now, where is these children grow up at some point? We need to get them to build them. Are you you at it again? Oh my goodness me! <laughs> Wowie! Oh, there certainly is something in the water. Wow. Okay, let's let's go over here. Let's give them a moment. Um, let's go and look through here. It does look gorgeous. In fact, let's zoom all the way out while they're doing that. Let's just zoom all the way out and just have a look at our planet. That is just tremendous. That is tremendous. Oh, click on the home button to be returned back automatically. Uh, where is that? Oh, up there. Okay, so if we're lost, if we can't find where our people are, which probably will happen a lot because I'm in control, we can do that. And it zooms us in. Whee! And down we go. Oh, that is, that's just lovely. There we go. So, um, are they still... Good Lord. Crikey. <laughs> okay, right. We've got... Four grown-up ones and three children. So, I would say now we could get ourselves a fishing thing. Fishing pier, that's it. So let's put that next to the water wheel thing because we might as well. Let's put that there. 
that'll be good. And there'll be big piles of wood and eventually we can get a storage area. But for now, we could do the fishing pier to get us some fish. And then now, when water storage is done, we will get ourselves a nice reservoir. We'll put that somewhere over here. And then, uh, yeah, can we upgrade that yet? No, not yet. Okay, but there is some water in there, which is good. That's a good thing. So, yeah, so we'll get this done. They're absolutely lopping those trees down. I suppose there's quite a lot of them. I imagine there's quite a lot of them. Are you two going to go again? I die. Good Lord. <laughs> My word. I'm surprised you get anything done. I'm surprised you get anything done at all. Okay, so they're building the fishing pier. There is not that much stone. We've got plenty of wood around. Plenty of wood. Where is the nearest source of stone? There's some stone over here. That's not bad. And there's some stone over here. So there should be plenty of stone. Yeah, in fact, in fact, there's a big blob of stone just there, which I think they're probably going to carry over to the fishing pier. So there we go. Yeah, this will be fine. So let's just do the little rollover thing. So yeah, three out of ten. And they've bought four out of ten. Oh, so it's only one. That lump of stone was only one actual sort of quantity of stone. Okay, fine. Whatever. They'll get on with it. Yeah, there they go. And there's plenty of them. There's now five. Five adult nuggets. Okay. And do they all live in one house? Because that's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Surely some of you should live in your own house by now. Time to move out. Time to move out. Come on. Where's your actual other hut? Have they got another house? Or do they all live in the one house still? Okay. I'm surprised. I am surprised. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Have I got to have I got to actually make them fall in love? Hang on, hang on. Can I can I pause time? No. So who are you? So you're Kelmuhu. You're a guy. And you're a guy. So Betty and Kelmuhu. Hang on. Let's use my um let's use my Lycupidion powers. And we'll go for you. You to you. And you two can fall in love. And then you can start making children, rather than just the other two, just making children constantly all the time. We might as well get you two doing something as well. I heard you have the power to create miracles. Well, I do try. I've been trying to build a hut for Brian and myself to live in, but I fear that I have thrown my back out with all of the heavy lifting. I can hardly lift my hammer now, let alone collect all of the resources I still need. If I could just get a few more materials, we could finally finish our dream home. I think Brian might leave me if I don't get this finished soon. Brian! You scoundrel, you dare leave her, Brian, and we shall be having words. And bear in mind, I am a god. And in my previous world, it looked a little bit like this one. I did have a tendency to throw people into space or chuck rocks in them. You watch your step, Brian. Um, okay, uh, I'm sure someone with a far larger set of muscles and a luxury hut will sweep them away. I bet they'll have a splash pool too. I can't let that happen. Please help me out. Okay. So, help Brian finish their hut. Use the levitate creator power to deliver the missing resources to the construction site. Okay. So what hut are we going to? So this hut here, they want us to bring resources to there. Okay. Help Nuggets finish their hut. So I need to use the levitate power. Now this didn't go well before. The telekinesis thing. Was, was that what we we're supposed to be using? Oh, use the levitate creator power. Is that what I just picked? Oh, that's telekinesis. Is that different to levitate? Is that different? Hang on. I'm sure, no, I think it's that. I think it's just got a slightly different name. Okay, so this. So now, oh, I'm terrified. I'm terrified of picking up a stone. I don't want to pick up a stone. Are they going at it again? Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so let's do that. Pick up a stone, right? And then bring the stone over to there and then put it down. Does that just count as throwing the resources in? Or did I just smash a rock on top of their house? I'm not entirely sure that was very helpful. How do I do this then? To deliver the missing resources to the construction site. Oh, did that help? No, there's no stone and no wood. And I just threw away a nice pile of stone that they could have potentially used. Oh dear. Uh, okay, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't very good. Uh, hang on, how can I do can I pick that up? Can I pick that wood up? Using my creator power? Uh, possibly. I can't pick that wood up. Can I pick up a tree? Oh, okay. I can pick up a tree. This is all fine. And then can I put the tree... Ah! Into there, like that? Does, did that help? No. That didn't help either. <laughs> Hang on. Right. Let's try another one. Construction on the temple has been completed. What temple? What temple are you building? Hello? What? 
Why are you building a temple? Oh my goodness, you've built yourselves a temple. You fabulous little nuggets. Oh, that is just marvellous. Okay, right, hang on. Hang on. We're doing the hurt thing first. Keep an eye out for flags being raised alongside building. This usually indicates that it needs a new worker or it's not being supplied with water. All key buildings require a nugget to do something. Yep, yeah, okie dokie. Gotcha. Um, oh yeah, that's it. Yes, this thing here, the fishery, does actually require a person, doesn't it? Of course it does. Well, how about, how about Brian? Brian the fisherman can go and work over there and I still need to help with this thing here. I don't, I don't fully understand how I help them. Okay, so I've done this. I've got a tree. Do I just put the tree in there like that? Right. Now I understand how that works. Right, you have to put it over it so it kind of makes that thing glow. Okay, well, let's pick up one of these rocks because they're not going to kind of come over here for a long while. We'll go down here. Do, 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 do. And where is their house? There it is. Right, okay, I've got, the, I've got a rock for you. I think that might have helped. Yes, there we go. Brian's faith increased. He will finish his hut now. Yay! Oh, Brian. Old buildings need to be maintained by engineer nuggets. Yes, I think that's what this is getting me, isn't it? This older one toolkit means we can have the engineer hut. Okay, this is very cool. Oh, there's an awful lot going on. Oh, oh, right. There's literally an awful lot going on right now. Okay. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, reservoir. We need a reservoir before everyone dies of thirst. Uh, where is this? Uh, there it is. Right. Let's put that over here it can sit at the back quite nicely just there get this done and we want to prioritize that please because that's very important now okay can i just help them out still can i just do that with everything so i can just go right here you go here's a tree a nice red tree can we just drop that into there okay that's okay this is this is very good now i don't think you could do that on the previous version yep yeah, we'll have a rock Help you with a rock, and this time I'm actually helping. I'm not throwing it at your faces. Yay! Okay. Five out of ten. Oh, this is brilliant. I actually feel like I can help them a bit. This is tremendous. Now, I do have to watch my actual power. In the corner, top left corner, I have uh, 36 sort of uh, points, I suppose. I don't really know kind of what they are, but like faith points or something. Oh, hang on. Buildings have got no water. That's fine. I'll deal with that in a second. Find little Masuke and return him to his parents. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Dear Crater, I'm begging you for help. Our family is in complete shambles. Our little baby boy, Masuke, was playing outside just a minute ago. I usually have my eye on him, but I got distracted by a neighbour's lizard barking for the fifth time today. I kept telling him to put it in the other yard. When I looked back, Lost Nugget. <laughs> Hashtag Lost Nugget was gone. One of the couriers... We haven't got any couriers, but okay. Uh, it says this, so I'm chasing a butterfly into the woods. There are wolves in there. My wife is going to kill me. Please bring my lost nugget back to a safe and sound. Um, also, if you're feeling generous, we appreciate better neighbours. <laughs> okay, right. I'm on it. Where on earth do I look for a baby nugget? Good grief. You could be anywhere. The, the, the woods are big and perilous. Where is a baby nugget? Oh, oh, here. Here's a baby nugget. Can I pick you up? Yes, I can. Right, okay. I've picked up the baby nugget. Now, I had problems with this before. When I went to put them down, I kind of smacked them into the floor. I don't think I want to be doing that. Uh, can we Can we just put you down gently? Oh, I've kind of thrown him on the floor. But do you know what? That That's fine. He's still alive. Yay. Okay, good. Now, the thing here saying the... Oh, no. Oh, no. We have not finished the reservoir and it is becoming winterous. Yeah, we've finished this kind of now. We're going to run out of water. We've got no no production of water. What's this doing then? Why isn't that doing... No output. Why was there no output for that? What was going on there? Progress bar displays the current amount of water being generated by all of your water pumps. The current water usage of your civilization. This instance, 300 units of water are being generated and 600 are being consumed. It means you need to build more pumps and try to maintain... Ah! Okay, so I'm... Oh, crikey, I need more pumps. But now it's gone to winter and everything's frozen. Now, did the reservoir get any water in it? No. <laughs> oh, dear. This could be a problem. This could be a problem. The water pit will keep topping up. The water pit will keep filling up, fortunately for us. So, uh, okay, right. 
That's something we're going to have to deal with. Oh, it's looking very cold. It's going proper frosty, Nuggets. I'm very sorry. I really hope you don't all die of thirst. I hope you don't all die of thirst. Right, That place is closed, presumably, because it's too cold. Because uh, the, the, the lake, whatever it is, the sea is frozen. It's that cold. So we need another water wheel. We need another one of those in. Okay, well, that's fine. We can get one of those done. Uh, we can drop one of those in if I can find the right button for it. Well, a water pump. Well, let's put it as close as we can to the other one. Just there. That'll do. We'll have one of those. And we then want... Oh, you've not got a house. Is that what you're trying to tell me? You don't have a house. Well, you go forth and build one, my good sir. You go forth and build one. That might well be your house being built there. Possibly could be. Uh, what else do we need? What else can we build that we haven't got? Uh, we've got ourselves a fishing pier. That's good. We got a reservoir. We've got not enough water pumps. Everyone's going to die of thirst. Um, an archive. Ah, yeah, no, we need one of those. Because, uh, yeah, we need that to save the game. So let's put that here next to our new... Uh, well, I suppose not new anymore. The centre of the village. The centre of the settlement. Uh, there will do. That looks quite nice. So we've got one of those in. So that's an archive, which was there. So we can only have one. What else is there? And eatery. Ah, and the engineers are very much required. We need this, actually. The engineers are going to be really important to make sure that all the rest of the buildings do not fall apart. So if we put that there and then prioritise that, I would say, hopefully everyone will start getting on with that. And the only thing is, I'm very worried about our water situation. I'm very concerned. That thing, oh, that thing's full. That thing's full. So it's got two units of water in, and it's filling up quite quickly. Okay, that's fine. This is good. This is good. Stonehut isn't looking too good. No, you're absolutely right. It isn't looking too good, is it? <laughs> no, we need to make sure. Uh, right, okay. Let's go and help them out. Let's go and get some stone and uh, let them have... Ooh, okay, that went a bit weird. Let them uh, have this stone to just be of use. Because, uh, yeah, we need that engineer hut pretty much now. So, uh, yeah, drop that in. Does that give them five? Yes. Okay, so we need a few more. So, okay, there's a bit of stone there. We'll have that. Thank you. Come over here. Go over the engineer hut. And, yep, yeah, throw that in. And you need... That's it. That's it. It's done. Get building. Get building. And then we need to assign two engineers pretty much immediately. Or this house, which is, you know, it, it's seeing a fair bit of use, this house. <laughs> I'm surprised it's still standing. The amount it's been shaking around, um, that's going to fall down. And that, that would be bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's someone there saying they need some water. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. How, how long is it until the next thing? When, when's, when's spring? When does all this stuff melt away? Because, yeah, you're drinking... Did you just have a drink of literally the sea? Did you just drink the seawater? I suspect you might have done. Okay, fine. Well, that's a thing you did. Right, okay. This is important. Assign a nugget. Uh, Betty. Betty can be our engineer. Betty the engineer can go and do the stuff. You can go and do the repairing. The important repairing. The engineers cannot operate without water. Ah, yeah. Now, we're not generating any water. We're not generating enough because we're drinking too much of it. So, yeah, we need to wait for the new year, the new season even. We need to wait for spring because at the minute we can't do anything. We are stuck. It's minus five degrees C, but we have got 15 hours. Oh, yes, please. Put minus four degrees, minus eight degrees. Oh, good Lord. It went. <laughs> it's it's just teasing me. The temperature is bullying me. Come on. Come on. Let's let's be moderate and temperate in this place. Let's get ourselves to not minus anything. This can all thaw out. You can go fishing again. The water thing can start rolling. And there we go. Somebody is regretting drinking from the lake. Yeah, that's that's probably a wise thing. Yeah, don't drink from the lake. Oh, you've gone all green. Is that Brian? Brian, don't drink from the lake. There's a perfectly good water pit there with nice water in. Right, it's on minus one degree. Can we actually get it? So it's not minus one. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, my friend, uh, my friend Brian, his face, if you can call it that way, is green. I think there is something wrong with him. I tried finding a witch doctor to see if they will help, but they're all busy. We haven't actually got any witch doctors yet. We haven't researched that. Uh, it's lizard racing. I bet they were at the event. I hope Brian will feel better. I pray to gods. I have only one friend. Okay. So rejuvenile. Okay. So we've got ourselves 
a rejuvenating power, have we? Hey, rejuvenate. Right, where's Brian? Brian, where are you? You were there a second ago. You should have like a green thing over your uh, a red thing over your head. Ah, there. Brian, Brian. Ta da! Was that Brian? Yay! Brian is back in good shape. Okay, lovely. Now, it's not. I oh, know it went to two and now it's gone to minus one again. Ah. Oh. Come on, we need some water. People are drinking from lakes and it's just not good. It's not good. Uh, that pump is doing... Yeah, we're no output. No output at all. What does that say? Every water pump has a certain amount of water it can output over time. Most of the buildings in civilization require water to function. Keep an eye on the water supply versus water usage in the main HUD. Uh, if the supply is lower than total usage, some buildings will stop working. Okay, yes, we've come across that. So now... The building should be working again. The reservoir is filling up. The engineers are actually doing some work. Oh, it's just lovely. And I've pressed that button. Okay. This is looking good. Has that hut fallen down? Has that hut fallen down? Uh, no. Oh, no. That, that hut's in pretty good shape. This hut needs some absolute TLC. Can we prioritize? Oh, click to demolish. I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's our founding hut. That's the hut upon which the civilization was built. It, it, that hurt has seen some... Oh, it's seen some sights. Good lord. Um, okay, this is our... What did we just learn? Oh, I've confused it by researching something and clicking this at the same time. Um, let's get... Who's young? Who's young and can go and work in there? Chane, you can go and work as the archivist, which is lovely, which means we can actually save our game, which is splendid. We've got a fisherman. I assume that's an autosave kicking in. Oh, we've got a little bit of lag going on. A little bit of lag kicking in there. Yeah, I guess that was an autosave kind of kicking in. We've got an awful lot of resources there. Right, we need to pick some more stuff to research. What shall we research? We've got storage areas. What's grass weaving? Nugget carry capacity plus two. That'd be very useful. That'd be great. Five and a half minutes. That will go by fairly quickly, I would have thought. Shamanism... That's going to help us uh, heal people. We can do that ourselves. Calendar is a forecast tower. Not so bothered about that right now. Cooking utensils. Mm, cooking time reduced. Wood-fired oven. Material refinement. Oh, yeah. We haven't got that yet. We haven't got anything like that. Do you know what? I'm going to go for grass weaving. So, yeah. They can have some nice bags and then increase their carry capacity by two. So, when they're actually doing stuff, when they're on their you know, building things... They can carry more stuff and get stuff done quicker without my help. So yeah, let's get grass weaving in. That might be good. And then I wouldn't mind a proper well. If we do that, get ourselves a proper well. Now what's all this stuff? Oh yeah, right, we need material refinement. That is going to be our next big thing. A wood-lined reservoir. Okay, that requires material refinement. Where is that? I assume that is a tech. There, it's just there. Okay. So, we've got some stuff to do. We've actually got some stuff on the go. Do you know what? Let's have that as well. Let's have cooking utensils. We'll have that queued up. Why not? Okay. So, it's all looking good. Now, let's go and quickly just build ourselves an eatery. I want to get an eatery in play. In fact, yeah, we're going to need... I suspect we might... Do you know what? We could do with another fishery, to be perfectly honest. And where do we get... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Where do we get hunting? When can we go and kill some stuff? Oh, yeah, we might not want to do that and that. We might want... Yeah, it's okay, take that out. Take that out for now. We'll have some okay water supplies. We might... We'll get grass weaving. We'll get calendar. And we'll get hunting or agriculture. Hunting or agriculture. Which is going to be most useful? Six minutes. In case you can hear, by the way, a massive gaggle of Ajimit's geese is flying over my house right now. Wow. Good grief. <laughs> That was quite spectacular. Um, agriculture for a farm or hunting for a hunter. So let's get agriculture because that will actually give us some food. Because at the minute, we haven't really got any food. We've got fish and that's it. So we possibly need to start working on that. And let's get ourselves uh, an eatery. If I can find where it is in here somewhere. It was one of those, wasn't it? There we go. An eatery. Oh my goodness. I forgot how utterly gargantuan they are. They are huge. Okay, let's put the E tree over that side. Like that. Right. We're producing plenty of water. We're getting plenty of water. Amount of water stored in reservoirs is going up and up and up. Can we actually see it? Yes, look at it. 
It's slowly filling up, which is lovely, which is very good. All the buildings are operating as they should do. Okay, what do we do with the um what do we do with this? What do we do with the temple? Like what what function does this serve? I don't really know. I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, can we go to storage area? Didn't we actually research storage things? Can we not go to storage area? Where would that be? A warehouse. There we go. Oh, they're massive as well. Good grief. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's put that over there. Um, yeah, let's put it over here. Let's put it facing the, the archive. So that can go like that. Just there. Lovely. So we get ourselves an eatery on the way, which is just splendid. In fact, they're building it right now. The eatery is under construction. Oh, okay. Well, do you know what? I was going to say let's call it a day. But if they're able to do all this stuff, then yeah, why don't we just get that done? Let's just get this eatery finished. We can see what they're doing with it. We'll put someone in it. And at least then we've got something going on. And then do you know what? We need another fishery. We definitely need another fishery because we're just going to die of hunger. So we haven't got enough food. So we'll put a fishery just there. Get somebody else in. You are doing a very good job, right? Doing nothing. Brian, could you possibly go fishing? That would be really useful if you could go fishing, Brian. Fishing would be a tremendous thing for you to be able to do right now. Press F to fly to event. Ah, it takes you to the most recent thing. All right, let's have uh, Timoto the laborer. You can be a cook. Splendid. Yeah, why isn't Brian actually doing any fishing? Why isn't Brian actually doing the fishing? Brian is doing nothing. Brian. Brian. Go fishing, man. We need all the food we can get. In fact, we have no food. We have no food of any kind. We've got many, many adult nuggets and no actual food. <laughs> oh dear. This could be bad because Brian is not actually going out and doing any fishing. I wonder why. I wonder why. Right, okay. Ah, that's why the lakes have melted. Oh, so that's still... Even though these could get water, even though the water wheel things could actually churn water out of the lake, um, Brian couldn't go fishing. Okay. Okay, right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Right, prioritise the fishing pier. And do you know what? Next time, because we're going to stop for now, look, we've got plenty of water on the way now. Plenty of water in the reservoir. That is lovely. And uh, if we generate 40, and we're using 16. What's that? Uh, still no tooltip on the food thing. There wasn't on the uh, previous version either, which is a bit weird. So I assume that 40, the, the green one is what we generate. So we generate no food, and um, our usage is no food? don't know. I'm not really sure about the food thing. We'll find out, I'm sure. But things are looking pretty good. Things are looking good. We've got ourselves a fishing pier being constructed. We've got ourselves the eatery and somebody working in it. We've got engineers. We've got water. We've got a reservoir. We've got the main stuff. We do. I do want to upgrade the uh, little sort of, <laughs> essentially the drinking puddle. I would rather have that a slightly more extravagant well, you know, to have some proper water in it and maybe a bucket. But um, yeah, so we've, it, it's going well. It's going well. And it's nice just to be back in the universe. I mean, it's lovely to be back in this because I, I love it. I think it's a tremendous game. It's very, very enjoyable. Uh, okay, last thing then before we go away. Let's get ourselves a nugget assigned to there. What about Kel? No, no, you can go and be a fisher person. Uh, why has that got a flag on the outside of it? Implying that that's not working. Uh, also, that tip is not the most useful of tips I've ever seen. Uh, I mean, that might need some translating. Uh, okay, or it's written in magic. I, I, don't, I don't know what that is. If I read that out, I fear it's going to be some incantation and I'm going to turn myself into a frog. However, we can heal you. Did I, no, we, can we heal you? Yes, we can. Hurrah, there we go. So somebody drank some water on the lake and it made the meal. But let's just stop. Right, okay. We've got people actually going out fishing. So Brian is out there fishing. Splendid. Good job, Brian, because we're going to need all the food we can get because, uh, yeah, we're running out of food. Well, we've run out of food. There is no food available. So, uh, yeah, next time out, the big thing is going to be getting food. Getting food on people's tables into the eatery so they can actually eat food. 
We're doing that via calendar and the agriculture, so we'll get ourselves some farms underway. And it's all looking very good. I'm jolly delighted to be back in the universe. And I hope you have enjoyed this. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do leave a like. And also, please do subscribe to keep up to date with our universe in journey and how we get on on Mother Planet with all our little lovely nugget sort of subjects. It's very exciting to be back. So for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well. And they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture is going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>